All right, guys, today we're gonna to talk about something I'm super passionate about, and that's the business of building your best self. If you think of your health and fitness the way a CFO of a company does to create a multi-million dollar company, there are five key point indicators that will help you reach those that are also applicable in business. I've identified these things over the last 17 to 18 years in the fitness industry, so let's dive into it. Now the first key performance indicator is be selfish. What I mean when I say be selfish is take the time to make the investment in you. Because if you wanna be the best father, husband, fitness freak that you can be, you're going to have to take time and effort and resources to invest in that because it's just going to make you a more efficient person. And the second key point indicator is investing your life. You can spend your time, which yields no return, or you can invest your time, which yields a return. When you train, when you eat healthy, when you make fitness conscious choices toward your goal, you're investing your time because that's going to yield a return. That is going to get you one, two, three steps closer to what your goal is, what the vision it is that you have for your life. It's those very small investments that you make that are gonna exponentially compound over time. The third key performance indicator is diversification. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Don't only weight train or don't only do yoga. Find something that you're passionate about doing, but make sure you're getting enough of every single area of fitness to be able to give you the overall wellness that you're looking for. We don't wanna just build somebody who's strong. We wanna build somebody who's strong, who's flexible, who's healthy, who has high energy, True diversification is looking at the grand landscape of your ultimate investment, which is your health. And it's about eliminating weaknesses to make sure that everything's safe, sound, and fit. All right, so let's talk about the fourth key performance indicator, and that's cost. An unhealthy lifestyle is more expensive because you're getting no return. You could spend an hour on Sunday night meal prepping your meals for the next five days. You're planning everything out. You're spending, let's call it 90 minutes on Sunday. Or you could spend that 90 minutes watching Netflix, fooling around on Instagram and Twitter, and I'm guilty of it too. I love social media, but not at the cost of chasing my dreams, chasing my goals. So that 24 hours, you can use it as you may, but always keep in mind the cost versus return margin. Is it worth it? Are you going to yield a return? If you have the mindset that nobody will work harder than you, you're always gonna be the hardest worker in the room. I guarantee you, you're gonna get returns from that. So we've mentioned this several times while talking about the previous four key performance indicators, and that's yield. What is yield? Yield is a result. So what are the yields of this lifestyle? More confidence, more self-worth, more energy, more focus, more success, more happiness. Those are all things that we're after. So you have to ask yourself at the end of the day, did I invest in my life today or did I spend my life in today? Because you only have 24 hours. How are you gonna spend it? If you guys like this video, if you wanna know more, leave your comments down below. I'll do my best to answer each and every one of them. This is something I love to do, sharing my passion and my journey for you. And I'm sure there's a lot that I can learn from you guys. And if you want to get a hold of me on social media, my Instagram and Twitter is at Weatherford5 and my Facebook fan page is Steve Weatherford. For more articles and videos just like this one, keep coming back to bodybuilding.com.